Hi. Um, so you're all progressing nicely, finishing up uh, module zero in no time. Um, and as such, I've opened up the module one folder. Not to worry if you haven't fi finished module zero, um, module one assignments are not due until next Friday, September 8th. But because I have opened up the module one folder, uh, I wanted to take you on a quick tour of that folder. Uh, the module one layout is the same layout for all future modules. So I wanted to highlight elements of the module that you will see repeated throughout the semester. Okay, so let's go ahead into the module one folder. So we go inside the classroom, we go inside the module one folder. Okay, so when you come into the module one folder, you'll find a read and learn link. Okay, and then you'll find section folders. In the instance of module one, there are three section folders. Okay, the number of sections varies per module. So, um, don't be concerned, some modules may have five, some may have four, some may have three, it varies, okay. This read and learn here uh, inside the module folder, not inside a section folder, um, it's just a brief introduction to the module, okay. It's just kind of a warm up. Uh, the, introduction, the introduction will normally have, it'll address your objectives and it may have a non-graded warm up activity, okay. So you're gonna wanna quickly jump in there and read it to get a feel for what's going to be covered in this module. Okay, let's now head into a section folder to see what it looks like. Okay, in the section folder, you'll find another read and learn link. Okay, this link is different than that one outside in the module as this one actually addresses the content for the section. It's not an introduction. Okay, the section readings are vital to your understanding of Java concepts. So be sure you be sure you read them. Okay, um, in this instance right here in section A, the read and learn is actually not a, a direct link, but rather it's a school Schoology page. So if I click this Schoology page, it's going to give me a little overview and then it's actually going to give me links to four different readings that you need to, to read for section A. Okay. Um, some sections may list the readings in this manner. Uh, other sections may actually just list it as a single link, uh, as in the case of section B. So let's take a look at that right now. Okay. See, and so this one here, it's just a direct link. It'll open in another tab in your browser. Okay, so you understand the concept of the read and learns. In future modules, you may see um, pages that say view and learn. Okay, view and learn pages in a section section folder. They'll um, they'll go along with your standard read and learns. The view and learn pages, they present video that supplements your reading, okay? They're meant to really firm up what you got through the reading. So just like the readings, they're, they're vital to your understanding of the Java concepts. So be sure you watch all the videos as well. Okay, once you've finished um, all of your readings and you've viewed any of the supplemental videos, it's time for you to complete the tasks and assignments for the section. Uh, all of your section tasks and assignments can be found in this green do tasks and assignments folder. Okay, so the tasks and assignments listed inside the do folder match the graded tasks listed in your assignment schedule. Okay. If you're confused about any of the tasks that are listed on the assignment schedule and how they align inside the classroom, please let me know. Okay. That's all I've got to say. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep it short. If you have any questions about this or anything else, just holler at me. Have a good one.